What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the slope of a line, okay? Now there's basically four main slopes that a line can have, all right? The first one is a positive slope. The other one is a negative slope. And then two kind of more special cases would be a horizontal or flat slope. And the last one would be a vertical slope. Okay, and it's really important that you always look at these slopes kind of, or, or kind of read them left to right, okay? Because if I drew a slope like that, is this a positive slope or a negative slope? Well, again, it would be a positive slope, okay? Because I read it starting from the left, going to the right, okay? Because if I did it the other way, if I started on this side and read it right to left, then this would look like a negative slope, right? But again, that would not be correct, okay? So just make sure that whenever you're looking at these slopes, you're reading them starting from the left and then going to the right. Okay, so now that we got the basics out of the way, how do you actually find the slope of a line? Okay, so if I wanted to know what the slope of this line is, how could I find it? Well, the equation that you use is actually really easy. All it is is m is equal to the rise over the run. Okay, so the rise right here is your vertical change in your slope. And the run right here is the horizontal change in your slope. Okay, and I almost forgot. This m right here, this is the variable for slope. Okay, so whenever you see the variable m, it means slope. All right, so the slope is equal to the rise over the run. Now, if we wanted to find the slope, specifically of this graph right here, the first thing you'd have to do is plot two points that this line runs through, okay? So it looks like it runs through, here's one point. So that point is at, looks like zero comma four, right? And then it also runs through, uh, looks like this point right here, which would be at negative six comma, zero okay so now if we wanted to find the rise or in other words the vertical change all you'd have to do is count how many spaces it takes you to get from one point to the other but just vertically and remember you read these lines or these graphs from left to right okay so we're going to start at the left one and then move to the right okay so to move from this point to that one we're going to first go up one two three four spaces and then we're going to have to go over one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, okay? So we have to go up four and then over six, okay? So we have to go up four and then over six, okay? So the slope of this line right here is four six or four over six. And also we can reduce this, right? Four over six, we can reduce that to two over three. Okay, so this would be the simplified answer of your slope. And the cool thing about this is that this slope right here, even though it's simplified, still works, okay? Because if we go back to our graph right here, let's start at our point again, but this time let's go up two and then over three. Okay, so again, starting from our point right here, we're gonna go up one, two, and then we're gonna go over three, right? One, two, three, okay? So can you see that this line right here also hits this point right here? Okay, so we could use either slope. We could use two over three or four, four over six, and we'll still land exactly on this line, on this graph. Okay, so let's just try a few more examples. Now let's find the slope of this line right here. So again, the formula, pretty simple, is m, or the slope, is equal to the rise over the run. Okay, so again, the rise is your vertical change, and the run is your horizontal change. Okay, so again, the first thing we have to do is find two points that this line runs through. And normally the, the x-intercept and the y-intercepts are good places to look, okay? So in this case, we can see that this line runs through this point right here, right? Which is, is it's at negative 2, comma, 0. 
and it looks like through this point right there also exactly at 0 comma 7 okay and then again all you have to do is move from one point to the other but you want to move from the point that's further to the left that's where you want to start with the one that's further on the left and then move to the one that's further on the right okay so the rise, again, is the vertical change, right? So we're gonna, starting from here, we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces, and then we're gonna go over one, two. Okay, so we went up seven spaces, and then we went over two spaces. Okay, so our slope right here, the rise, we went up seven, and then we went over two. So our slope right here, we can't simplify this anymore, right? This is as simplified as we can get it. So our slope right here would be 7 over 2, okay? And one other thing I forgot to mention is since our slope right here is positive, right? This is a positive slope. That's why our ants right here is also positive. So now let's try an example that has a negative slope. All right, so here's our next example. So as you can see, the slope is negative in this case, right? So when we solve for our slope right here, we should expect to get a negative answer. So again, the slope is equal to the rise over the run. So the first thing we have to do here is find two points that this line runs through. Now, I previously mentioned that the intercepts right here where this line crosses the X and Y axis are normally good places to look. But as you can see in this example, this line doesn't run exactly through this point right here or this point right here, right? It runs kind of like in the middle between them or maybe a little less. So it's not very clear right there. So what we have to do is find somewhere else on the graph that this line runs exactly through. So for example, we can see that this point right here, right? It lands exactly on this corner right there, okay? And then let's try and find another corner that it lands on. Uh, this corner looks like it runs through that corner pretty close right there. Okay, so we found two points that this line runs through, right? So again, the slope is equal to the rise over the run. Okay, so first let's find the rise. So again, we're going to start at the point that's furthest to the left. Okay, so now in this case, we're actually going to go down, right? We're going to go in the negative direction. So we're going we're gonna to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spaces, right? That's where it's lined up with this point right here. Okay, so the rise would be negative eleven. Okay, so we went down negative or we went down 11 spaces, right? So that's negative 11. And then we're gonna go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so then the run, still in the positive direction, the run is nine, right? Positive nine. Okay, and we can't reduce this fraction anymore, right? So this would be your final answer for your slope, negative 11 over nine. Okay, and now the last two examples I want to cover are for a horizontal and vertical slope. Okay, so let's start with this example right here. So as you can see, we have a horizontal line, right? So what would be the slope of a horizontal line? Well, again, the, the formula for the slope of a line is the slope is equal to the rise over the run. Okay, so again, same process, pick two points that this line runs through. Well, it runs through every single point right here along this line, right? So we could literally pick any two points. So let's just pick this point and this point right there. Okay, so first of all, let's figure out the rise. Now, again, starting from the point that's furthest to the left, what is the vertical change from this point to this point? Well, there is no vertical change, right? They're on the exact same line right here, horizontally. So the vertical change would just be zero and then that's gonna go over the run. Okay, so how many spaces does it take to get from this point to this point? Well, let's see, it'd take one, two, three, four. Okay, so the run right here would be four. Okay, so let's simplify this. Zero over four, or zero divided by four, is equal to zero, right? Zero divided by any number is equal to zero. 
Okay, so whenever you have a horizontal line, the slope right here is always equal to zero. And it's specifically because the rise is equal to zero, right? It doesn't matter what the run is. This could be four, it could be a thousand, a million, whatever. Zero divided by any number is always equal to zero, okay? So the slope of a horizontal line is always equal to zero. Okay, now lastly, let's find the slope of a vertical line. So again, the slope formula is right here. So slope is equal to rise over run. Now, again, the first thing you wanna do is graph two points that this line falls on. So let's say right here and right here. Okay, so first of all, let's figure out what the rise is. So normally you wanna start with the point that's furthest to the left, but in this case, they're on the exact same line, right, vertically. So there is no point furthest to the left. So don't worry about that. Let's just figure out what the distance is vertically from one point to the other. Okay, so let's just start from the bottom one and then move up. So let's go up one, two, three. Okay, so the rise right here would be three, right? The rise is equal to three. And then that's gonna go over the run. So what's the run? Well, there is no run, right? Because this point is right here, this point is right here. There is no horizontal change. They're on the exact same line. So the run, since there is no run, is zero, okay? Now, what is three divided by zero? Well, that would be equal to undefined. Okay, the reason it's undefined is because you can't divide by zero, okay? Zero can never be in the denominator, okay? So whenever you have a vertical line like this, your slope will always be undefined. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.